Really different. The last item in this show, we're going to spend about 15 minutes on this guy. It's an expiring price as well, and this is still all wool. One of the choices, now do we all, are we down to two choices here, guys? Last two. Two sizes. So what do you have in your hand here, Dustin? So this is our watercolors design, Rick. This is a design that we introduced 10, 11 years ago, and we brought it back last February as a, a special edition because over the, those 10 or 11 years, we had had so many customer requests saying, I just want to add something else. I bought it from you years ago, and I need a small rug as an accent. I need a runner. Uh, there's other sizes I could list, but we have already sold out of them, and we're not making this one any, anymore, just as we aren't the Fleur de Lis that Rick and I just showed. So if you're looking for something, as Monty Python said, completely different, mm -hmm. this is the way to go. Whether it's just an accent rug for a master bathroom or a foyer or alongside your kitchen island or you're looking for a runner to add a splash of color in a hallway or by the side of the bed, Rick, this is a really unique color design. We call it our watercolors because it really does look like somebody has painted watercolors onto a wool rug. It literally brings a smile to my face because over the years, over the 25 years, we used to have how many different shows. Oh. Every week we had shows. Absolutely and you had right. all of these limited edition stories and these massive flowers and the watercolors. And it was like walking into an art museum, literally looking at the work that you guys did. Well, thank and this you. is like, this is like one of those great limited edition pieces that's still here and more beautiful than ever. And I gotta tell you, when you take a look at that completely different kind of design than you're used to in a positive way, Look at the size of the flowers and look at the colors. So right. there are some muted, would you call them salmon colors, apricot colors along with sage here yes. and so much more. Sages and blues, Rick, there's almost 60 colors in every single one of our rugs in the watercolors. And part of it <laughs> is what we call a triple dye technique. And that's wow. what I'm kind of showing off here. Those are the striations that you see here where we take a hank of yarn and we dye it in three different intensities so that when it's tufted into the rug, and remember that's all done by hand, you get all these slight color differences, and that really is what we used to mimic watercolor paintings because a watercolor painting is not just a solid color. It varies Look at it. as it's put into it's on like the canvas. It, like, it's like you dripped liquid, like a water color, like right. you dripped liquid on it, and it just mixed in with other colors. It's but amazing. But still, the color goes all the way down. Why? Because each individual tuft of yarn is put into the rug by hand, and it's so plush, so thick, with 6,000 tufts of wool in a square foot, that's why you don't get down to the bottom, that's why it's beautiful from the front, but durable in your home, under pet paws and accidents and under feet traffic, that's so that, why these rugs last so long. Three by four, six, by the way, that's $75, and that, again, guess what? It's on six easy payments. So if you wanna take it, if you want the, the runner on this one, the two by nine, more limited, 500 to go around. So that's kind of a Wedgwood blue, and it's got those striations within it, so there's subtle colors in. What about somebody who's lucky enough to have a beach home, right? Oh, Could this yeah. be a Manhattan beach right now? Could Absolutely. Could this be down the shore in the Jersey Shore? Could this be in a lake home? bright and fun and bringing in the light and color. If you are looking for something that really does make a splash, I don't want, I can't believe I just said that. I yes, didn't mean did. it to be the ocean pun, but this is really a great way to just add something unique and fun and whimsical to any room in your home. Be it the accent, obviously easier to decorate with because it's, I don't want to say it's small, it's an oversized accent, but it's easy to place anywhere in your home or the runner. If you need something to go into a hallway that's not been changed for 20 years, and your wall-to-wall -wall carpeting has seen better days or yeah. hardwood floors have scuff marks on it, the runner at two feet three inches by nine feet six inches is a perfect way to add beauty to that room. Ac Erica, my, my producer, has a question. How do you actually start with design on something like this? Is it someone, is it an artist painting? Is it an artist drawing? Where does this come from that then gives the rug makers the template to actually create that? Um, for us, our design experts actually start on a computer. They use like a drawing tablet, so it's kind of like a drawing or painting, but modern, it works on a computer. Modern way to, to right. draw. So Gary and I can come up with designs on our own, and we do that and, and send it to our factory and let the actual experts make sure that everything looks right. Sure. And other times, our designers say, hey, we have this great idea, 
and put it together. And that's where this one came from was our watercolors design. What we'll do is we'll actually trade these digital files back and forth so we can nail down almost to the tuft of wool exactly where we want the color placement to be. And then once that's done, we create a map that sort of looks like the paint by numbers that we all did as kids so that you know exactly what the design is going to look sure. like and where the colors go. And we translate that into a large or small or a round um, sort of like a blanket that's got all of that sketched on, and that's where the tufters know where to guide. But all of that individual wool then has to be brought in, right? Yes. And know exactly in that paint, tufting by numbers, to know exactly where that goes. And in this case, it's not like straight lines. No. Right? This is nothing, there is no straight line in this rug. Not other one. than the edges. The rest is all curves. Right. And even the edges are surged along the sides so that when you have this down on, say, hardwood floors, you don't see that white cotton backing showing through. We just have a beautiful ivory that uh, is neutral and works with this design. But look at all those colors and that soft, plush rug, whether it's something that's elegant and classic like a fleur de design or this, which is whimsical and colorful and vibrant like our watercolors design. The fact that it's made out of 100% wool means that you love the design. It's going to be in your home for years or decades to come. Yeah. Unchanged in quality. And you know, as you take a look at so the accent rug going quickly, by the way. I mean, you know what? And the other thing is it's a different room. Why not go for a different design? I mean, this is wonderful for a kitchen. Or what about a sunroom? Sure. Right? What about a sunroom? What about an entrance to a, uh, a beach home? You walk in and that's the first thing you see. It's inviting, it's fun. And in this case, it's asymmetrical. Like so many of the rugs that you guys create in a wonderful way, I mean, there is a symmetry. There's a medallion, there's center, there's frame, which is exactly what you want. You want a completely different way. This is an asymmetrical, look at that vine, if you will, or the stem, I'm just sorry, of that flower, it's drooping over and it's moving as these flowers cascade over one side, but not the other. And that's exactly what we wanted to do with a design like this, Rick, when we came out with it uh, 11 years ago, was we just wanted something different to be able to offer the QVC customer. Now, the reason why you don't see as wide an assortment of designs as you used to, if you've been watching us for 25 years here at QVC, is because now what we have to manufacture is so big to supply QVC. And because all of our rugs are still only hand tufted rugs, it takes that much more time to create that many more rugs. So we don't have the opportunity to create as many designs as we used to. Uh, the price goes up on the end of the day on this one. Is there no, is there a reorder on these? Nope, these are no the last ones. No reorder on these. So as you're loving that Florida Lee, lowest price they've been, price goes up at the end of the day and no reorder. Here comes the two by nine. 400, no reorder on this one. Lowest price it's been, six easy payments. Three by four, most popular choice, by the way. And who is joining us? How about this? Marianne from Alabama is just watching QVC, flick through, and realized she bought these last year. How are you doing there, Marianne? I am doing just fine. This is beyond my bedtime, but when I saw it was Royal Palace, I had to watch it. And I've been thinking of calling you for the last hour because I wasn't buying one today. But Last February, I bought three of these watercolor rugs that you're showing right now, right. and they are out of this world. Oh, thank Woo! you so much. Uh, modern art, it, it, and they're flowers, and they are so pretty. I couldn't help it. I bought three of them. Did you I really? Think, I think Dustin said that the, it was the first time in about five to seven years that they had made a round one. Yes, that's and right. And I think it's a five-foot or six-foot round it's one. It's six feet. Six feet. I bought that for my bedroom because I had a kidney-shaped ultra suede sofa at the end of my bed. And six feet away, I had my television and my uh, buffet, or what do you call it, my dresser. And I had oak floors, and it looked so bare. And I bought this round one, and it just brightens up the whole bedroom. Then I bought a long one, I think 9 by 12 or something like that for, uh, no, a runner, a runner, three and a half or two and a half by whatever, uh, for the kitchen. And then I bought a 9 by 12. <laughs> eight by ten for my den and it just brightened the whole room i mean it was just beautiful and i've got friends who came over and some of them are quite old they have all these old oriental rugs which i also have and one of them said to me he hardly ever says a word and he's in his 80s and i said john what do you think of this rug and he looked at it and he said it makes me smile oh 
I just thought that was the most sweetest thing. It makes me smile. And then I have other friends who say, when you leave the planet, would you leave these rugs to me? I mean, I tell you, they're beautiful. <laughs> oh, man. And you say, hopefully you say, look, look, buddy, I'm not going anywhere soon. Just right. relax. All right? <laughs> I don't want to leave because I've only had them for, an, for a year. <laughs> just relax. Marianne, uh, there's nothing better than to have this crazy job that we have. We didn't then to get a call, uh, we just sit here and listen to you because you describe it better than we possibly could from what you love to the value to what friends of yours have said about it. That's really a joy, really a joy. We appreciate well, that. Well, I just wanted you to know because I never wrote in again or anything like that how absolutely happy I am with them. I mean, every time I walk into one of these three rooms, I think I'm so happy that I bought them. Are you so not I happy really to hear encourage that? Them, I encourage your uh, listeners to do, do the same. Marianne, this, you've been one of the greatest uh, testimonial calls I have ever received. <laughs> We've been here for 25. My father started the business, and I joined him five years in, so I've been doing this for 20 years. And, you know, it, it's a rug. It, it looks pretty. It's supposed to wear nice. Like a previous caller said, it's, you know, it's fine. And that's exactly what you expect it to be. But when you hear words that you just said, Marianne, it makes and, it happy. and stories, my God, it just brings such joy to, to me to know that we're able to supply something for the QVC customer that brings that kind of joy. Marianne, that, you, that's have, you have a wonderful night. We appreciate you taking the time to share that, okay? Your sweetheart. Yes, thank you very, very much. No, thank I hope you, you very much. Thank bye. you very much. Bye. Hope to you again soon. All right. That's a real deal. That's great. Person. She was awesome. Like, absolutely awesome. Not only what she said, but what other people said who saw the rug. And the key is, makes her smile. She walks into a room and she loves it. Isn't that what great home decor is supposed to be? Do? Yes, absolutely. But right. I, I don't walk into my family room that's had the same couch and chairs and furniture for the last uh, 17 years and smile. It's just there. Now let's deconstruct that. Why does it make her smile? Tell me about the rug that you guys created. Oh, it's it's the design, Rick. It's the colors that we use. It's the design. It's the whimsy. Help me out now with those colors. Yeah, sure. So what take a look. What colors are people seeing? They're joining us right now. I, are they seeing apricot, peach colors, muted Brick colors, what are they seeing? Uh, they're seeing ivories, salmons, blues, Salmon. uh, d rich browns and burgundies. They're seeing sages and olives. It's the really the blue that I love the most that we do in a flower, just to pop that color. Sure, it's not what you would find in a natural flower, so we take some artistic uh, license on this, but that's what really makes a Royal Palace rug so unique and so special. In addition to all the hand carving that we do so that that flower comes to life, whether it's a lot of carving in a small petal or just an outline carving in a big flower, it's the triple dye technique that we use only in our watercolors design and that what gives us these striations so that when you look at our flowers and our backgrounds, it truly does look like it's been painted with watercolors. It really that does. Move and shimmer. I love that you're bringing this back. So there's the close up shot. Here comes the wide shot as you pull back and you see this beautiful watercolor, this watercolor painting that literally, you know what, you could put that on the wall. You could frame that and put it on the wall and display it. But no, it's also meant to be used. So you can sure. step on it. Right. You can spill something on it. Don't worry about it. It's meant to be used. It's form and it's function. You walk on it. Your pets lay on it. Your kids play on it. You have accidents, juice box spills, wine spills. It's all fine because we use only 100% wool pile in our rugs. It's why we can do these colorations. It's why we can get such great detail. And it's why we can get customers who call us after having our rugs for 20, 25 years yeah. and say they look as good as new as the day that I bought them well, and they've been abused. Boy, this thing, this is where the runner really like, look at how, look at how there's, there's a little story there like that's a lot of a beautiful movement to it isn't there and, and that design they, they really had a how to work to get that shape <laughs> and still use that same uh, motif well and that really speaks to how good our designers are that they can take an idea that can start as a rug that would right. be seven by nine or eight by ten because it's asymmetrical and put it into a runner that's two feet three inches across and nine feet six inches long or the accent rug where we scale everything down but all the quality that goes into our big rugs whether it's the the big floor to leave that we still have or the three by four foot six inch accent rug you're still getting a 100% wool rug, a hand tufted rug with a heavyweight yeah. cotton backing and Follow firm me. sides. You know what? I just want to remind everybody and literally in the last minute and a half, there is that watercolor. 
Here's how we started. So we started with these guys. So they could not be more different. And that's 